Hi everybody and welcome to Jewel Family Farms. Um, so today I, I wanted to show you how we had uh, redone the pig shelter, uh, the pig fence I should say. And we put it up, got it up and did a little extra to it to hold it up a little bit better. So we're hoping this will hold them in. So let me show you. So we put this up the other day. So far it's held them in. Um, and so the fence is, we reinforced it quite a bit, put some extra poles in. Don't touch the fence, Joey. Um, it, we put some of these other kind of poles and tied rope to them. We did that several, uh, on several posts uh, around the perimeter. So, so far, this is holding them in really good and uh, um, we're happy that we were able to get them back in, the, in there because they were eating. They were eating everybody's food. They were eating the chicken food and they were going and eating goat food. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're glad we we got that fixed. All right, so down here, eating and drinking and oh man, look at that! They just pulled tore. They just yeah, they just poured that whole thing over. Now look at him rolling in it. I don't know if you can see it with the sun. <laughs> he poured that whole thing over. What? Yeah, and wait a minute. Let me let me go up here for a second. Look at him. He poured that whole water trough over and we just filled it. He pulled this over. He just went over there and knocked it right over. It started rolling in it. He's having he's having fun now. Well, that's not good. Now what are you gonna drink? Well, all right, we'll get you some more. How did it cut this? Okay. Well, no, there's nothing in there. Oh, look, he's trying to drink out of the nipple. There's nothing in there now. All right. We're gonna fill it back up for you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What is he doing? He's trying to beat it up now. Stop that. You got enough mud holes. You don't need to make another one. No. Ugh, yikes. Get out of the way. Oh, look. What is he trying to knock the fence down? Oh, I'm missing my shot at the boy. Alright, well we're getting ready to fill it back up. It probably wasn't filled up all the way. Alright, I'm gonna go down here with the little the new little goats. What's up, Jake? <laughs> yes, Joey? Every pulp is bird families oh, down here. Boy, that is a lot of chickens. Yeah. Hey, is my girl duck gone? Oh man, I don't have any girl ducks left. Well, that stinks. That oh, no. Oh, is it? No. Well, shoot. Okay, well. The babies are having a they're having anxiety down here because we just got the little girl today and she's wild she's a wild little thing so she's not used to being anybody touching her so we're gonna have to sit in here with her Joey you want to sit in here with me all right come on all right I'm gonna sit down right here Oh, maybe she'll come to me. Come peace, That's right? Frankie. That's our new little buckling. He's going to be our herd sire. And that's Maple. And she's going to be our dam. So that's our two new little breeding stock meat goats or market goats, as they call it. But she's really, she's really shy. I don't think she's ever been... <laughs> 
ever been touched a whole lot. So we're trying to sit in here with her and get her to come to us. And uh, I tell you, Frankie is way smaller than itty bitty. Yeah, well, he's only three months old. Mm. I think she's, let's see, she was born in March. She is so, she's August, so yeah, she's five months. But she can't be bred till she's over, till she's a year old or a little over. But he can start, uh, if he grows enough, as soon as he gets big enough, he'll be able to um, use him with the Nubians, with the girls over there. So we're gonna have cross um, boar, Nubian boars, which will make a really good meat goat. And hi, sugar, hi there. So we wanna pet him a lot and really, um, you know, be around him a lot because, um, you know, bucks are a little wild. So you want him to be. You want him to be. You said that was a girl. Yeah, that's a that's a doe. Wait, it's a doe. Yeah, it's a girl. A girl is a doe. Wait. Huh? A girl can have horns. Yes. I didn't know that. A girl. Yes, all goats can have horns, boys or girls. There are some goats that are naturally. Oh. A red bird. That's cool. Huh. Uh, some goats are naturally polled, which means that they're naturally born without horns, mm -hmm. and those are really nice to have. I, I don't know what breed of goat that is, though. I know that some of them are, uh, I think they're uh, many Nubians or Nubians, not, not Nubians. Um, the only what thing, are they called? Um, the only thing that I know that we They're the have, smaller goats. The only animal that Nigerian I have. Nigerian dwarfs. The only animal that I have, I know, is my boxer. Yeah. You have a boxer. What's your boxer's name? Ellie. Oh, yeah. So, we're just going to sit here, and hopefully she will start coming up to us. And he's back here eating his food. <laughs> he's got a little bit of a growl still. I've been giving an antibiotic. But uh, I'm going to have to call the vet tomorrow for sure. For what? He's got this little growl going on. He doesn't seem to bother him or anything. But, I don't know. Jake said um, he thinks um, he has a trouble breathing. Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't seem to be. He seems like he's breathing okay. I don't know. But anyway, just want to show you our new little our new little buckling, our new little doling. <laughs> she is sweet, though. I mean, I think she'll get friendly really fast. I don't think it'll take her long. Oh, no fighting back there, guys. It's nice no easy fighting. drop tan the water. That's okay. You going in with them? Do you want food? Be careful. She might jump on you. Don't, I don't want her jumping on me. Got it. <laughs> She's a little scared right yet. We don't want to corner her. We want her to feel free to roam around without us bothering her. Let her get used to us and see that we're friendly. Yeah. We're friendly humans. <laughs> yes. Uh, we, and we that we humans come in peace. Yeah, don't don't do that because she's liable to think you're trying to hit her with something. <laughs> we don't want her to think that. She still hasn't ate this. Well, she probably doesn't like it. It doesn't look very appetizing to me either. If you were an animal, then it would. Yeah, maybe. It but depends. We're humans. Maybe cows would like that. I don't know. Cows? And can we get cows? No, we're not getting cows. Why? Uh, we don't have enough property for cows. No. You need a lot of land for Granny. cows. Granny. Yes, I know we have a lot of property, but we don't have enough for a cow, and I don't want to raise a cow because it's a lot of work. A lot more Granny, work yeah, than what we do you now. Need to milk it. You need well, to milk I don't want to. We would get a beef cow if we were going to buy one. I don't need any more milk. But anyway, um, so anyway, uh, I read this article the other day. I didn't really read it all. I just seen the, like the headlines of it, and it said something like uh, people are getting salmonella from, from farm eggs. And, um, it, you know, I, I really it really aggravates me that, you know, that they're picking on. It seems like people like we're getting picked on for selling eggs or things from the farm. And we're very, well, I am. I, I can only speak for myself. 
I'm very, very, very careful about how I handle my eggs. And I make sure that I check them and uh, make sure that, uh, you know, I, you can check them in water. And, a, and, a, and I do it in my sink. I clean my sink out really well and bleach it out and, and, and spray it out and everything like that. Then I, then I put my eggs down in the water. Ow. Yeah, those are thorns. Those things hurt. They don't even have... Oh. Yeah. Yes, they do. Uh, something needle. Nettles. Nettles, I think they're called. But anyway, um, then I, um, oh, after I bring my eggs in from outside, I lay them down in that water. And that checks for freshness. And so if they lay flat, they're nice and fresh. If they start standing up on the end, they're still good, but they're not as fresh. Now, if they float, they're rotten. You need to throw them away. So I'm very careful about bringing my eggs in, um, checking them for freshness. Uh, I dry them off. I put them in cartons and I put them right in the refrigerator. Oh, that scared me. The ducks are fighting. <laughs> that scared me. Dang. They always fight. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's the way you need to treat eggs. Now, you, you should always wash your eggs before you crack them into the pan. At least that's what I think. Because some people, they don't wash their eggs at all. They just put them straight into the carton. And then I think where the salmonella is coming in more than anything else is people are taking those eggs and cracking them right in, you know, into their pan or their bowl or whatever, or into their, you know, batter if they're making cakes or whatever, and they don't wash them first. A lot of the farmers, they do not wash their eggs. They just put them straight in the carton because they're guaranteed to stay fresh longer uh, with that. They have a film on them and uh, that film protects the egg from going bad so once you wash them and you take that protective coating off they have to go straight into the refrigerator um, they cannot sit out now if you don't wash them and you, you get them out of the nest you bring them in the house they can go in a basket on your counter they don't need to go in the refrigerator for several days and they stay good as long as you don't wash them and you just bring them in and lay them you know in a basket or whatever you have that you put your eggs in now if the farmer packages the eggs without washing them, that's where the problem, I think, is coming from. That's my own opinion. I'm not an expert on any of this. Um, I don't. I didn't read the article, so I'm not sure what they said. But you should always, if you're buying from a farmer, you should always wash your eggs before you crack them. That's just a good rule of thumb because, you know, some, like I said, some farmers wash their eggs and package them, and some don't. Um, because the reason that they don't is a lot of times people want to buy the eggs for hatching. So um, I've bought several eggs like that from people in the, in, you know, around the community, and I will ask them, you know, do you have a rooster? Are they fertilized? And, and have you put them in the refrigerator? Because if they put them in the refrigerator, they won't, well, they will not hatch. So. I uh, always ask them, you know, are they, have they been on the counter or did you put them in the refrigerator? Uh, so anyway, you know, there's a lot of things, but the rule of thumb is if you're going to buy eggs from a farmer, make sure you wash the eggs before you crack them. That's just a good rule of thumb. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with farmers not washing their eggs. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, but you have to be vigilant and uh, protect yourself too. That's just part of farming. That's just part of buying organic, natural, farm-raised things. That's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, that's that's the little thing I have to say about eggs. And uh, so I guess I'm going to end my video here. And <laughs> there's the girls down the girls down there in their play area. There's my Joey boy. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's got something hung on her leg down there. It's a little bag. I'll go get it off. Where? There's the girls down there. That's her little that's her little play area. They're out most of the day roaming around the whole farm. They just go wherever they want and she's scratching herself on the fence. <laughs> okay, well this little guy here, his um he keeps coming up behind me, but he's not used to me yet. We'll give him a few days. Look at him chewing on a stick. Kitten likes chewing on sticks. Yeah.
forget to get in this video. Haha, <laughs> not this kind of... Alright. Alright, let's see here. Let me... Alright, so, come on over here, Joey. We're going to end this video now, and uh, we'll see you on our next video. Stay safe. Count your blessings. Um, please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll get notifications when we upload something. And um, just take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.